backyard. Mess up the... Huh? Eddie, you promised to help clean up. I will. I just needed to, um, save the yard from creatures from outer space. Looks like we need to save the yard from Super Eddie. It's not that messy. Ugh. Whoa! Who left that there? You did. Okay. I'll help clean up the yard. I just need to do one thing first. What's that? Go on an adventure to the jungle. Hey, everyone! Who wants to come to the jungle with me? Yeah, sure. Cool. Let's go. Nah. I think I'll stay here. Me too. What? It's going to be fun. Okay, I'll come along, but we still have to clean up later. No problem. I promise. Hit it, Ziggy! Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure, but first we sing this song. We sing this song. 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 Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. Isn't that one of the Queen's royal guards? Mm. Uh. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm in a terrible hurry. I need to roll this egg all the way to the stone throne. Why can't you just carry your egg? Running, I can do. Carrying... <laughs> ...is a little trickier. Oh, if only there was some young, brave group of egg movers who I could enlist to help me. We're brave. We'll be your egg movers. Oh, will you? Will, will we? we? Sure. How hard can it be? Oh, I'd be so grateful. You will take care of it, won't you? It's extremely delicate and fragile. It's an egg, after all. Don't worry. So Brady's on the case. I promise we'll take special care of it. Oh, thank you. How far is the stone throne? Um, quite far. How far? Do you see the tallest tree in the distance? And the hill behind it? Well, it's just beyond that. Oh, and did I mention the rocky path and all the fallen down trees? Mm -hmm. Must run. Farewell, little one. Don't hatch without me. I know what we need. Get us to the stone throne. All aboard the Egg Mover Express. Let's go nice and slow. Oh. Eddie, slow down. There's an egg back there, remember? Relax. Super Eddie is always ready. I know what I'm doing. <gasps> End of the road. I don't got it. Super ready to the rescue! Eddie! Woo! Last one to the bottom is a rotten. Oh no. Hey! Gotcha! <laughs> what in the name of dribbling dewdrops is going on here? Try this, monkeys. <laughs> oh, no. Eddie, you made a promise to be careful with the egg. Remember? Relax. 
They're only monkeys. What could go wrong? <laughs> you see? Whew. Now come on, Eddie. Let's get... Eddie! We're just playing catch. Uh-oh. Follow that egg! Somewhere. I found it! All right! Yay, Tessa! I'll take it. No, no way! What do you mean? I got the egg this far. Yeah, and you almost broke it, too. From now on, we'll all take care of the egg together. You're right. I guess I got a little carried away. I'll try to be more careful. I promise. Huh? We better get moving. This egg sounds ready to hatch. But how are we gonna get it there in time without breaking it? I know how. But we're gonna need some branches and lots of leaves. Here's one that might work. Baby ostriches sure look funny. <laughs> That's not a baby ostrich. You think it's a dinosaur? I think it's a big green chicken. I say it's an alligator. My, my. You have such good imaginations. Presenting Her Majesty, the Queen. Your Majesty. Mama, Mama. My little hatchling. You made it safe and sound. You mean this was your egg? Of course. These trusty egg movers transported your egg for me. They kept their promise exquisitely, ma'am. I am very grateful. Soup ready saves the day again. <clears throat> I mean, Soup ready couldn't have done it without its friends. They helped me keep my promise. Well, in that case, you're all invited to join me for some refreshments to celebrate the arrival of my little hatchling. Yay! Ah, <sighs> a nice cold drink. Just what I needed after a long hike through the jungle. Eddie? I think he's thirsty, Eddie. Eddie? Eddie? Here you go, little guy. Looks like Eddie's made a new friend. Eddie? <laughs> <sighs> Just look at this place. Don't worry, Sophie. This time, I'll clean up. Super Eddie always keeps his promises. Keeping 
your promise and that's really great. But why don't you slow down and then we can all help? Um, sure. I'll go tortoise speed. <laughs> Phew. Water. Water. <sighs> okay, Eddie. Good boy. I've got some water for you. <laughs> Better? <sighs> yeah. Phew. So hot. It's like a billion degrees out here. Isn't it, Kobe? Uh, oh, yeah. I guess so. You guess so? What's the matter, Kobe? I just found out the worst thing ever. <gasps> what is it? You're allergic to all of us? There's a law against dancing? There's no more peanut butter on planet Earth? Worse than all of those. <sighs> What's worse? Tell us, please. Come on. <sighs> I'm moving to a new house. Oh, no! But, Kobe, what about Ziggy and the band? And Lucky? And all of us. And all our adventures. Yeah. I've lived in that house and that room my whole life, since I was little. It's where I, where I live. <sighs> oh, Kobe, I'm sorry. This is the worst news ever. Hey, why don't we do something that'll cheer us up? Yeah, like go on an adventure. We could go somewhere nice and cold, like Snowglobia. That sounds great, doesn't it, Kobe? I guess so. Yeah! Come on, Kobe. It'll be fun. Okay. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. That's okay. I don't feel like racing. <sighs> huh? Whee! Yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, have you seen any trees around here? Uh, I don't think I... What do you want a tree for? I'm looking for a new place to live. Really? Why? My mom and dad brought home my new baby sister, and there's no way I'm sticking around with her there. Why not? Are you kidding? Ugh, all they talk about is new baby this and new baby that. And I was there first. But having a little sister might be fun. Think of all the cool stuff you could teach her. Think of all the noise she makes. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Look at my snowman. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm just going to take a little walk. Okay. See you, Kobe. Hurry back. Hey. Wait up. I'm Kobe, by the way. Gabriel. So, don't you think your parents will miss you if you find somewhere else to live? They won't even notice I'm gone. <sighs> I just want things to go back to the way they were. I don't want things to change. <sighs> yeah, me neither. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Whoa! Oops! Sorry. No worries. 
delicious snowball. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know if there are any empty igloos around here? Mm, don't think so. Why? He's got a new baby sister, and he doesn't want to hang around. Oh, <laughs> I understand. I have a kid brother. You do? Yep, and he's my best little buddy ever. He is? Sure, but I didn't think so at first. But things change. Well, I don't want any change. Change isn't always easy. I wasn't too happy when my parents moved us all here from the warm jungle. You moved here? All the way from the jungle? Yeah, and I thought I would be miserable. But you know what? Snow is so fun! Who knew? At first it wasn't easy to leave my home behind. My parents said, don't worry, soon we think you'll find. Things can change, feel kind of strange. Sometimes it's just that way. But something new might tickle you and brighten up your day. Cha-cha, cha-cha, change. Change is the way. Hi, Herbie. That's my brother. Isn't he the cutest? Looks like he can be fun to have a sister or brother. And guess what mom and dad said? We're gonna have another. It feels kind of strange when things start to change. But sometimes it's just that way. But something new might tickle you <laughs> and brighten up your day. Cha-cha, cha-cha, change. Change is the way. show you two something. Wow, what is this place? place, place. This is Echo Canyon. Canyon, Canyon. Hello! Hello! You can hear things from all over Snowglobia if you listen. <laughs> That's my mom and dad. They're calling me to come home. <laughs> Sounds like they might be a little worried about you. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> Is that my sister? It must be my sister. Sister, sister, sister. <laughs> sounds like she really misses her big brother. And it sounds like you two might want to go and see her. Kobe, want to meet my new sister? Absolutely. But what about finding an igloo? No thanks. I've got some other changes in mind. Mine. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kobe. <laughs> Your friend's family sure is happy that he's back home. His little sister is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, maybe some changes aren't so bad. Things can change, feels kind of strange. Sometimes it's just that way. But something new might tickle you and brighten up your day. Cha-cha, cha-cha, change. Change is the way. If monkeys do like something new, so can you be safe? Cha 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 change. Change is the way. Hooray! Incoming! <laughs> 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 
So, Kobe, when exactly are you moving? Tomorrow. Oh, rats! I don't want you to go. I'm actually kind of excited. You are? But we'll never see you again. Sure you will. But you'll be so far away. Oh, no! No, no, no! I'm not moving far away. I'm just moving across the street. Across, across the, the street? street? Yeah. Exactly 22 steps from where I live now. But I'm really gonna miss my bedroom, and my window, and my closet, and my floor, <laughs> and my ceiling, and my doorknob, and where I drew pictures of you guys on my wall. What do you think? How about this, Mia? It's Mia's Fairy Tale Theater presents The Boy Who Cried Wolf, not The Pirate Who Cried Wolf. How about The Boy Who Cried Super Eddie? Save my pet monkey? Boy Who Cried Wolf. That ferocious dragon's about to eat up all those poor, innocent animals. <laughs> they can only be saved by... Joking Jack the Dragon uh -huh. Jester! Jack, what are you doing? I'm here to help you, Super Eddie. Hey, Dragon, what did the egg say about the fork? <laughs> Beats me. Get it? Because you beat an egg with a fork? <laughs> Dragons are defenseless against a good joke. Joking Jack uses his super funny powers to make the monster laugh and saves the day. Ring-a-ling, ring-a-ling. Wait, what's that? A super emergency? What? What is it? A very special Super Eddie adventure! Great, I'll come with you. Sorry, only one superhero at a time. Sophie, Kobe, I need some music for my Super Eddie adventure. Mia, we'll be right back. How about this hat? No! Hm. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. A special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. Somewhere. But where? Whoa! 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 Aha! Uh -huh. There! Look out! Pizza delivery guy coming through. Hot pizza! Never fear! It's Super ready to the rescue! I got it! I got it! I. Look out! Uh -huh. Right? It's the old collapsing pizza boxes gag. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, one and all. I'm Funny Bone in the Funny Zone. All right. <laughs> Anybody here need saving? Funny Bone. Funny Bone. Funny Bone. Funny no. Bone. Okay, I'll just be, you know, flying around, protecting you all from disasters and stuff. That sounds like trouble. And trouble means it's time for Super Ready to the Rescue. I'll save you from the scary giant. Super Eddie, glad you 
you could make it, pal. You like my big balloon? This guy's not scary. He just wants to dance. Come on. <laughs> All you have to do is wave your arms around and look like this guy. <laughs> funny bone in the funny zone. So, anyone need some superhero help? Save your cat? Carry your groceries home? No? Well, I guess I'll just be, um, on my way. Funny Bone, Funny Bone. What's so great about him? I'm the superhero. <laughs> Hello! Hello there, lovely day. It's Prince Piggington. He can't drive that tractor. He'll crash, and he's heading right for the farm. Royal greetings, all. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, Super Ready is here to stop that tractor. Hello there. Ha! The old remote control tractor gag. A classic, am I right? Classic? Oh, yes. Funny bone in the funny zone. <laughs> <laughs> Guess they want a super clown, not a super hero. <laughs> not a problem, folks. That's what the stop button's for. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Oh, right. Like, I'm going to help him. Help! Except, real heroes don't do what they want to do. They do what they should do. <laughs> now this definitely looks like a job for Super Ready! a super ready adventure. How did you? I followed you here. I was just trying to make you laugh. That's my superpower. I thought you'd like my jokes, and then you'd like me and want me to be your partner. But I guess I messed up. It was pretty funny. The pizza boxes. Right? Super funny. And that crazy dancing guy in Prince Piggington in the tractor. So, we can be partners? Well, Super Yeti and a sidekick Funny Bone could work. Wait a minute. Why shouldn't you be my sidekick? Um, because I'm the one who can fly? I can make everyone laugh. I can lift tractors. Oh, like that's so special. It's time for me. That's me! This is the story of the boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time, there was a shepherd boy. But the shepherd boy wanted people to notice him. So he cried, Wolf! Wolf! His neighbor came running. Wait, I don't see any wolf. Me neither. 
Wanna play? Uh. And he did it again. Wolf! Wolf! There isn't any wolf! I know. Wanna play? Nah, not right now. But then, a real wolf came along. Arr, wolfy, wolfiness! Wolf! But no one believed the shepherd boy because he cried wolf before and... Where you been, Wolfy? I've been calling you and calling you. Wanna play? Play? No! You're supposed to be scared of the wolf. Why? We're friends. And you're supposed to scare the shepherd boy. I don't want to scare him. I want to make him laugh because we're friends. Wolfy, wolfy, wolf, 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 wolf. I'm going to eat you. Watch out. Oh, no. Don't eat me. We're friends. <sighs> and so the shepherd boy and the wolf laughed and played, and no one was scared. And I have no idea why I just told you this story. The end. <clears throat> You said it. <laughs> okay, when I say three, ready? One, two, three. Hey guys, what you doing? Playing the game for big kids. Can I play? You can try, but you might be too little. Yeah. We're seeing who can jump up and hang from the monkey bar the longest. And you've got to be super strong. Or half orangutan. Are you part orangutan? I don't think so. But I can pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, peasy, Kobe, squeezy. Well, okay, but don't blame me if your arms fall off. I won't. Okay, ready? One. Two, three! You're right. This is hard. Guys! Snack time! Yay! <laughs> Maybe she is half orangutan. What's for snack, Sophie? Jelly. Is that all? Yeah, she found it in the sandbox. Like treasure. Wait! Hey! You can't eat that. Why not? We don't know where it's been. Sure we do. In the sandbox. But it's all dirty. And there's nothing to spread it on. We've got our fingers. And our tongues. Jack, that's yucky. But it's all we've got for our picnic. Picnic? Why didn't you say so? I love picnics. What a perfectly picnicky idea. But not here. Let's go out into the country. I love the countryside. Let's go. Me too. Yeah. I think I know just the spot. Come on, you two. We're going to stay and um, keep an eye on the jelly. <laughs> hey, hey, we've got an adventure And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this I could most definitely eat here. Just smell all that countryness. Ah. <sighs> well.
Well, I guess it's okay. What do you mean, okay? It's beautiful! Look at all the pretty flowers! Well, they're pretty, but they're sort of yucky, too. They're not in lines, or rows, or anything. But look at all the butterflies! They're so colorful! They're all right, I guess. There's just not very many of them, are there? Okay, if you don't like it here, we can find someplace else. There must be zillions of nice places around here. Just what I was thinking. <laughs> They're so pretty. Let's eat. I'm hungry as a wolf. <laughs> oh, Fooey. What's the matter, Emma? My dress. It's all muddy. Where? I can't see anything. Here. Oh, it's ruined. That? It's just a little speck. But what about the grass? Um, what about the grass? Don't you think it's a bit too pointy? Too pointy? How can grass be too pointy? <laughs> Careful, Eddie. Oh, with all the mud and pointy grass. It's just too yucky here. Hmm, this place isn't good enough either. Do you want us to find another picnic spot instead? Good thinking, Sophie. Come on! <sighs> How about over there? Hmm. Well, okay. Let's try it. Really? Sure, I'm not picky. Here we'll be just fine. Perfect! Well, almost. I'm starving! Let's eat! Hmm... What right now? now? Listen. Isn't it sweet? Oh, it is sweet. It could just be sweeter, that's all. You're a little off-key, little bird. Good luck, little bird! <gasps> what is it, Eddie? Um, the blanket! Wouldn't it be even more perfect over there? You know, you're right. Guys, look! <laughs> so slimy and slippery. If Emma sees that snail, she'll never want to have a picnic. You're right. And I'm going to eat my shirt if we have to move again. Well, what are we going to do? I'm not touching it. I know. Just keep Emma distracted. What are you going to do, Eddie? Leave it to me. Blanket's a little bumpy. We'll help. Sorry. This picnic is by invitation only. Might be better. Just over. No! Mm hmm. Actually, you're right. Ugh. What's the matter, Sophie? Oh, just a flower. It blew into your hair. Oh, really? No! no! I'll get it. Can I see it? Um, well... Oh, it must have blown away. Never mind. 
I think we're just about ready to eat. <gasps> a snail! I just love snails. You do? Of course. They're so cute. They are? Sure. Look at their little shell houses. They're perfect little campers. My gosh! We've been trying to hide it. We thought you might think that it's all slimy and yucky. Yucky? But I love the trails that they leave. So shiny and sparkly. Now, Miss Snail, you can sit next to me as our guest of honor. Can I have a sandwich now? <laughs> of course! <laughs> Silly. Finally! Hum. 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 Wow! Much better! Oh, Jack, not again! But there's still some in the bottom! I can't get any jelly for me now! Eddie, can you help pull it off? I could try, but Mia's way stronger. She is? Yeah! I'm half orangutan. <laughs> Thanks, Mia. You're welcome. And I'm welcome to this last little bit of jelly. If I can just get this last itty bitty. Ugh. Oh, rats. <laughs> <laughs> Phew! Yeah. Uh, that is the smallest apple ever! But it won't come down! I'm tired of waiting. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Just, uh, getting warmed up. Boy, boy, boy! Gotcha! That's apple picking Tessa style! It's a crab apple. Kind of sour. It looks yummy to me. <laughs> Ew! Not yummy. Now I want a big, juicy apple more than ever. Hmm. Why don't we go where the biggest, most best, most delicious apples grow? Like where? Like a whole island of apples. Big apples. Yeah! Big Apple Island! Great! Let's go! All right! Oh, hey, Jack. Where are you guys going? We're going to find the biggest apples ever. Apples? Ew. What? What's wrong with apples? Don't you know about apples? I heard that one time there was this kid who found a worm in an apple. A worm? Ew! Yeah, gross, right? Well, see ya. Come on, Tessa. Let's go. Worms. Yuck. Hey, hey, we've got an adventure. And you can come along. Special kind of adventure. But first we sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Sing this song. We sing this song. Hey, hey, we bought an adventure. Quiet. And where did all the apple trees go? Looks like some of them were cut down to make this wall. But I wonder why. Look! 
there's an apple tree. Now those are big apples. Stop! Don't touch those apples. You don't want to make the angry apple angry. What's the angry apple? Oh, it's the biggest apple you've ever seen. And the other day, we think the angry apple ate our leader, Chief Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Apples don't eat people or beavers. Well, go ahead and laugh, but he's missing. And that's why we stopped eating apples and built this wall. To keep the angry apple away. I don't know about any angry apples, but I know this one looks delicious. <sighs> Ooh, it's the angry apple. Scientific fact. There is no such thing as an angry apple. Yeah. Apples aren't angry, they're yummy. Except the little sour ones. And the ones with the worms, yuck. I say we go find out what this angry apple really is. Yeah, let's show these beavers there's nothing to be scared of. Please take us to the angry apple. Yeah, we'll find your leader. I, uh, okay, but you'll regret it. What if there is an angry apple and there's a giant worm inside making it angry? And if there's one thing worse than an angry apple, it's a giant worm inside an angry apple. Tessa, you sound like these silly beavers. You're just imagining things. <laughs> oh, really? We'll see. They sure do look yummy. Yup, they do. <clears throat> but do not touch them. <gasps> Wait up! <sighs> Behold, the angry apple. is one huge apple. But it doesn't look very angry to me. Uh, I'll just be over here. What in the name of fidgeting fruit is going on around here? Mm -mm. Tessa, aren't you coming with us? No. I don't like apples anymore. They have worms in them. Yuck! I don't want to find a worm in an apple. I don't even want to see an apple. If there was a worm in the apple, there'd be a hole where the worm crawled in. No holes here. You sure? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> be careful, Sophie. This apple isn't angry or hungry. You've got to see this. Don't worry. No worms. I promise. Thank goodness. I was trying to push this apple home and got my tail stuck under it. Been here for days. You were making all that noise? Yup. Didn't think anyone heard me, though. Now, if you don't mind, please get this apple off my tail. 
everybody. One, two, three. Ah! Yeah! I'm free! 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 You defeated the Angry Apple and saved our beaver chief. Angry Apple? What Angry Apple? We thought it gobbled you up. There was no Angry Apple. Good thing you came along. You weren't scared. Well, I was kind of scared. But my friend showed me it was only my imagination playing tricks on me. To show our thanks, we would like to share our specialty with you. Apple pie! Mmm, so good. Best apple pie ever. See? No angry apple. And no worms. So, I'll have another slice, please. <laughs> <laughs> and now, another amazing adventure of Super Ready! Whoa! Oh, save me! Save me! What brave person will come to my rescue? Don't worry, Super Ready is Super Ready. Some great big furry creature is trying to gobble me up. Where is this beast? Uh, under my stool. It's just a stuffed bunny rabbit. Nothing to be scared of. Nibbles, I was looking for you. How did you get out of your cage? Were you guys afraid of a cute little hamster? Well, not you really. See, um, time for a run on your hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> falls over the backyard as Ace Pitcher Kobe winds up and... Whoa! Oh no! My peanut jelly and butter sandwiches! We're gonna need a bigger field. And I need some more lunch. <laughs> Yay! Every team they want to pick her She's such an awesome kicker. We really do need a bigger place to play. Somewhere I can blast one for miles. Mia might need some tougher competition, too. I know. We could play against the three little pigs. They have the best team in all fairy tale land. Great idea. Don't worry, Eddie. We'll bring a picnic. Can we have your famous peanut jelly and butter sandwiches? Sure. And you can come along A special kind of adventure But first we sing this song We sing this song Sing this song Wait up! Look, everyone! Whoa! Wow! Oh, yeah! This is the perfect spot. Let's set everything up so we can have a picnic right after our game. 
Yeah, we're going to be hungry. I'll help Sophie make the sandwiches. We'll set up the chairs. That just leaves the umbrella for some shade. Mia, can you set up the umbrella? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, that's not an umbrella. Oh, well, the umbrella's easy. I just gotta practice the Mega Mia kick before the three little pigs get here. <laughs> Done. 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 Steady Yeti is ready for kickball. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Are you ready? Just need to set up the bases. And get in a little practice. But the umbrella still has to be set up. Those sandwiches will get all melty in the sun. Mia. Oh, right. Umbrella. Yeah! Hooray! <laughs> Don't start without me. Majesty. I was hoping you'd ask. Would you set up the picnic umbrella on the table so I can go... Do princess things. Like play kickball? Your wish is our command, Your Highness. We love setting up picnic umbrellas. Picnic umbrellas are our favorite. Um, just one question. What's a picnic umbrella? Um, and what exactly do we do with it? It's easy. You'll figure it out. Thanks. Gotta run. Oh, oh. oh. check me for cracks. Oh, you're okay. What's with the outfit? Oh, I always play in this. You got the umbrella set up okay? Taken care of. Oh, here comes the three little pigs. And they're two big cousins. Let's play kickball. Princess. Uh, I forgot something. Be right back. Hang on. <laughs> it's gobbling me up! Umbrellas don't gobble. Here. Ah! <sighs> Still in one piece. Those things are dangerous. It's just an umbrella. All you have to do is open it and put it in the middle of the table. So, bye! I'm getting gobbled again! <laughs> rats! 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 <sighs> they started without me! Whoa! Your Majesty! Whoa! More like it's got you! Grab him! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, a million rats! Hey, Mia! What have you 
you been doing? Yeah, we missed you for the game. Well, I... Um... <laughs> and where's the, um... Umbrella. We did it, we did it, we did it! The umbrella's over the table! My lunch! Oh, I feel all scrambled up. Uh, I, um, I just asked him for some help. Well, actually, I asked him to do it for me. Didn't quite work out, huh? No, I'm sorry. I should have just done it myself. But I wanted to play kickball so much. <sighs> now they've ruined everything. Okay, I've ruined everything. Well, maybe we can unruin everything. Yeah, we're a team after all. Really? Thanks, guys. Got it, Your Majesty. No! I mean, thanks, but I can do this myself. Like I promised I would. Yeah! Hooray! Hooray! How does she do it? Come on, let's all eat. I can't believe I missed the game. <gasps> Did you win? We lost. Pretty bad. Yeah, those pigs mean business. But after lunch, we're having a rematch. And we could really use Mia and her mega kick. All right. <laughs> yes! Hooray! Good job, Mia! Yeah, Mia! Come on, you guys. Gomi's gonna show us how to make a pyramid. Okay, the secret of making a pyramid is everyone, every one of us, has to do their part. Ready? Uh-huh. Yes! Ready, yep. Yeah. So, Eddie, Sophie, and I will be on the bottom. Mia and Tessa can be on the top. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget Mr. Bunny. Wow, we did it! Yes, we did. We just have to keep it nice and tight, all together. Go away! Shuby, get out of here! Whoa! Careful! 